times over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. Will, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting his priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should Promised Soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the Pact Holder shall cast the Promised into a Vernus as a Lee Muir. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a Vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? the winning hand. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. a way forward. We get along quite well, I think. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. Precisely. Exactly. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. You will help me find him, won't you? Perfect! I knew you would understand. The Shadow Curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But, with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fey boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. 
His name is Daniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness, but one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Yes, I think you do. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. This place, these shadows, I don't seem to be affected. Not as badly, anyway. Perhaps I shouldn't put it to the test, but compared to everyone else, I feel fine. Better than fine. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. You're resourceful. You'll find a way. <laughs> Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. The Shadowfell, her domain, has power here. Whatever the Dark Lady needs of me, I'll wager the answer lies wherever her power is strongest. I need to find that place. See what awaits me. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the Hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the Blade stands for. Such an asshole. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. Can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. Yes, unless Mazora actually fulfills her promise and sets me free. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Gods 
damn it. Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? I want to believe that as much as you do. Almost as much as Will does. But I just know there will be more to the story. There always is. It's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You'd never win. Not ever. The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Not everyone would have helped. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. Yes. Yes, I am. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Yes. But the orders are oddly erratic, as if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental, but we're all that stands between victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain.
darkness has consumed it. Better leave it be. Don't burn yourself. Hello. No one back home will ever believe this. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Stay together. Keep to the light. Not to trust a voice from the darkness. Come into the light, hands high. Jonas, move in. Come back to the light! Who's there? Meg? Is that...
Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! Ready for this. dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. You sense a young woman gazing at moonrise towers in awe. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half-drawn. You see an older woman on her knees scrubbing the floor of an inn. The patrons made a mess of things again the night before. In her former life, this girl played in the nearby woods. She was always the best at climbing trees. subverts all that is good in nature.
research on the nature of the shadow curse. Good to know. Get started. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful.
to see what new horrors waiting for us. for me. I wonder what's past this. 
Last light in. South Risen Road. West Wythwin Town. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Maybe.
anything up. Jimmy on the go. Nothing important is ever easy. mate. place. I do for you, my friend.
glad to have an ally. I... F... Or is it an E? Is it even a letter? Damn language is this! What are you doing? A gift from Cazador, written in flesh. Apparently it's a poem, but I've never read it. I've been tracing the scars on my back with my fingers, trying to read them by touch, but I can't. They may as well be written in Rashim. I... This isn't your problem, you know. Fine. The runes are carved in deep, brutal strokes, but the jagged letters mean nothing to you. Whatever language this is, you don't recognize it. And? What does it say? Absolutely no idea, but it's no poem. Two centuries carrying this, and I can finally see it. None at all. It doesn't look like a poem. It doesn't look like anything I recognize. Whatever he's left carved in my flesh, it's a mystery to me. Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well, it's something. Will we? How... Sweet. Ah, my favorite traveling companion. It's not a plan yet, more a feeling, just an itch at the back of my mind. But I know I'm missing something. Whatever Casador did to me, it was more than his usual sadism. It had purpose. Once I know what that purpose was, maybe a plan will present itself. But for now, I just need to scratch this itch.